Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you on uh, the first video of spring cleaning and this is going to be about how to organize all of your games. So stay tuned. Game storage. So we all have all those games and know where to put them or they're just a clutter. So this is how I organized mine. I bought one of these stackable bins from Walmart. And then I went ahead and I labeled it games. And then I'm just gonna go through each of these games, make sure all the pieces are there. And then the ones that need paper, I'm just gonna put some lined paper and pencils in those. And then I'll stack them in here. So in going through my games to make sure that everything is in line or in included, and not missing somewhere in your game box there'll be a list of what is included it will be like on in the instructions or the pamphlet that you get or on the box this sorry game it's on the box so you get 16 pawns game board deck of cards instructions so here is the instructions there and then we have of course the game board so that's gonna go in there it says we should have 16 pawns so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, ah, 16. Then of course we have the deck of cards. So I'll just organize it into the box and then I'll put it, it's lid on and put it into the storage bin. So another tip for organizing your games, if you saw in the clip before, the cards were just everywhere. You can use a Ziploc bag or you can just use a rubber band and secure your cards and put them in your box. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I went through my box, my first game box, made sure all the pieces were there, put a little Ziploc bag in here with all the little contents. I'm gonna close this up, maybe. Close this up, put it right in there. Now I'm going to start my next one. Another tip for organizing your games. This game here, Bounce Off, really fun game. Um, I went ahead and I took one of my Ziploc bags to put the cards in and the instructions. And I just went ahead and put a pencil in there just for the convenience of there being a utensil, a writing utensil in there to keep score. And I'm also going to put a few um, pieces of lined paper in the box too just so that there is some paper and a pencil um, so it's ready to go when we take it out to play so we're not looking through drawers and junk drawers for a pencil or pen and paper. It's all right there in the box ready for you to go. Two more tips for your game organization is if you don't want to put the pieces of paper into the box you can get like little tiny notebooks like this that just fit right in your Ziploc bag. And tip number two is if you have a game that uses a dry erase board, it's hard to sometimes get those black stains off of there. So if you go ahead and use a alcohol prep pad, that will come right off. See how much cleaner that is? I'll show you firsthand with that one. That's residue buildup from the dry erase marker. So this side is relatively clean. I'm going to dry erase all of this off. And if you see, it's coming right off with the alcohol prep pad. And there we go. 
all shiny and clean. So there you have it, my tips and tricks to game organization.